this is somewhat common on these so uh, this is a brand new pedal that he shipped us so same thing i'm going to reinforce this and he sent us some starbucks gift cards which are very very much appreciated really thank you so much okay we're gonna blow out these shirts i just got some shirts from the t-shirt guy and without having a i wanted these lighter and they're darker than they should be this is the lighter color which i want so what I'm gonna do is blow these out. So if you're kind of on the fence about buying an LHT shirt, you wanna support the channel, you wanna support us, you want people to go, hey, I watch LHT too. Buy a shirt, 10 bucks each, until this batch is gone. I'm gonna blow them out. Then they're gonna go back to regular price. The question, I'm thinking about doing some shirts, some kind of murdered out shirts, the black, but with black logo. So imagine this, but this being in black, which is kind of like, as you move it like this, you'll see the name, but it's not quite, in your face kind of annoying. So let me know if you want to do that. I want to do it. Esther's kind of on the fence about doing it, right? On the fence a little You're bit. You're on the fence. I have but to see 10 it. bucks a piece. 10 bucks a piece. Buy one and like I say, we'll throw something else in there. George, you're thinking about doing some murdered out shirts. What do you think? The black on black, do you like it? Yeah, why not? I like it. Make the logo a little bigger so you can actually see that it's on there maybe. Where the ones that go all the way across the front I'm talking about, where oh, it has okay, the LHT yeah, yeah. and the silhouette, the full size logos. Yeah. But black on black, kind of like the mic edition. Yeah. If you guys know Mike, you know what I'm talking about. In a past video, I showed you this tube and it came in a USPS box with no packing at all, which is uh, amazing it made it. Well, I cut it like this, which took forever, by the way, because this is about 3 8 aluminum tube. So basically what I'm doing is making a fixture This is your foot pedal. You press this, this spins. You get a variable dial. You can slow this down. And it's great. You can basically hold your torch, and that's how you get those continuous welds. Uh, I bought this last year, and we've been kind of busy, but the idea is to start making the pipes. Now, the brace, or the fixture I'm making, it's supposed to hold a pipe like this, and the welding point you want level with the horizon. Well, if this pipe bends, let's say it's a pike, and it does this, the idea for that fixture is for it to hang out the side. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that tube up. And this is basically a piece I want to build out of aluminum. I want to change that and put a spring in there. And basically what you do is you just loosen this and is to do this then you can take the pipe out of there um this is three inch i want to make a little drop in fixture for that to run two and a half uh the trick is is to keep the center line correct that's what took a little bit of figure now end up changing this a little bit but it's going to be pretty easy to work with and again fixture uh think of the pipe being able to bend out this way i saw it on uh, a post that tycon did and i'm not taking away from them I'm not going to build this. I'm not going to build them for sale, sorry. Uh, when theirs comes out, if it's easier to work with than mine, this is just because I need to start making some pipes and getting going with this. And it's just so we can get rolling. But look out for Tycon. They have a much prettier version of this. It's going to be out, I believe, around summertime. We'll give you a quick glimpse of this car in a past video. We're going to make this video about a cleanup. So this is a HKS supercharger on an S2000. It's already been tuned. We're not getting into the tuning part of it. He wants to do an engine bay cleanup and he also wants to change the interior color. He has black seats and black door panels. He wants us to change them over to the red and black, which I'll show you here in a minute. Engine bay cleanup. Now we'll put a list together. I'll show you what we're anticipating doing. Second video he wants to talk about titanium tubes. These are just kind of bleh. So he's asking us if we can put the air intake over here and build like a heat shield. That way we can put this hose where the intake is basically lower. Bring it under here so you can't see it. There's no sense in building a titanium pipe you can't see. And then make this titanium the intake titanium. That will be a, a separate video. But for right now, a few things we're looking at. One over here, if you look at this, this isn't designed to carry 
water. This is the PCV hose that would go from here to here. You see that? You recognize it? It's got like the lines in it. That's not designed to carry water. It might do, but it doesn't have anything stopping it ballooning. It doesn't have any fibers in there, so definitely recommend replacing that. These wires here really need some loom. They're tucked behind here and they're not secured. They don't look very nice, but they're not protected. Here's just I don't want to scratch it, but this is just jammed over here. I mean, it just is awful. These are water hoses, not designed for oil, and this doesn't look real good. So we're going to change these to AN, relocate that somewhere, maybe relocate this. This, I mean, it's there, but it's just in one bracket, and eventually that will break because it's going to flex. Uh, clean this up. Uh, this just kind of sit here really needs a bracket to attach it you guys paying attention at home you're writing a list uh, this is okay that works this is obviously for the system but maybe it can sit over here over here uh, I think he said he had a leak over here it looks a little wet right here doesn't look too bad but it's just wet we'll just check the o-ring and check the seal on this there's no pressure in here we just moved it the pressure dropped off so there could be a leak in that fuel system talking about poly noise right here and this one is a little noisy if you watched our video we talked about replacing the bearing in here and we have the bearings in the store save you a ton of money um, but check it out go in the store and look watch that video it shows you how to replace this bearing it's super easy the bearing is 10 bucks to buy the pulley from Honda is like 60 so it saves you quite a bit of money and this is a steel pulley it doesn't go bad it's better than the aftermarket aluminum ones that wear out so by replacing just the pulley saves you a ton of money yeah you see the regulator right there just bypassing fuel in there the regulator is bad so we'll have to let him know it's not pouring out it's not wet we just checked all the seals but you can see right there this one's ready to go catch can is remounted with nice braided lines everything is all hooked on here properly we've got nice an fittings if you didn't see the video check it out i'll show you how to install these an fittings so easy it'll save a bunch of time reservoir mounted lines we already showed you that new line for the by bypass valve pull off valve right here a nice braided one and we are attached up here uh, regulator is leaking internal we can't fix that next round is going to be these pipes here that will make a big difference so I'll check that out when we put that video but for right now this one is done seats are in both seats both door panels and we'll give him his old stuff back he can decide what he wants to do with that but that was super heard of these guys long story I decided to go with a new t-shirt guy. We've been dealing with our old t-shirt guy for 20 plus years. I try to stay loyal and I try to stay with the people kind of in our network, but unfortunately I can't really deal with the quality issues and changes in brand and changes in color and ink not looking right and sawdust. Uh, yeah. So anyway, t-shirt labs. Funny, I just went to go see these guys and turns out I know Aaron. The owner we built a car for him probably 18 to 20 years ago small world right uh chit chatted with him super nice guy he knows his stuff he's doing t-shirts for all of the youtube guys like uh, cletus and jeremy and nate dr tuna mall he's doing all those guys so he knows what we're doing i want to blow these out. i'm going to change all the prices to 10 bucks each t-shirts not hoodies hoodies are expensive once we get this stuff blown out i might buy some hoodies but i just put in an order with t-shirt labs for new t-shirts support us support him support our channel support george support esther support the whole ocd lifestyle of owning a car and being super proud of it all shirts i'm gonna go change it in the store right now 10 bucks in fact that is somebody calling me right now <laughs> and it's a facetime